In Universe 11, in a desert and mountainous region of an isolated planet in a specific galaxy in Universe 11, there was Jiren, a noble and powerful warrior who reflected on some past events in which he fought against an infamous, strong and courageous Saiyan, who was perhaps the, the best warrior he faced in his entire life. His name was Son Goku. Jiren was so thoughtful because in the past he had been defeated by Goku, even though he was so powerful and said to be unbeatable by many, he simply couldn't deal with the Saiyan's power that never stopped increasing. That was precisely the problem, Jiren knew that Goku didn't stop evolving, Goku's evolutionary capacity is truly impressive, few or perhaps no one has that same capacity. And Jiren knew this very well, especially because unlike Goku, he didn't have this ability to evolve so quickly, especially in the middle of a battle. He found himself frustrated because he couldn't even calmly meditate, and this happened repeatedly in his thoughts. He was always interrupted by those same thoughts that told him that Goku currently wouldn't have much difficulty beating him in a duel, and Jiren didn't know which one. It was Goku's current level, but I had a feeling that he would be very powerful, since Goku has the determination of a god to become stronger than he already is. Jiren wanted to get stronger, that's what he needed, but he didn't have all the emotional balance he had because of the constant intrusive thoughts that surrounded his head. Guys, before continuing this epic story, I left your like to help the channel, and of course if you can, I also left a super thank you and help the channel financially and also subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any news now, let's go back to the video. Therefore, he only saw a single option, updating his training form based on his current situation. Basically, Jiren wanted to maintain emotional control training, since that was his strong point, but add more training in different regions to become a more complete warrior and have a better chance of winning even when he is angry or unbalanced, something that does not happen with his opponent Son Goku, who has enviable mental strength and never lets himself be shaken by anything. Jiren soon thought that he would become stronger if he fought someone as strong as his former opponent, but he didn't know someone like that, and he knew that there was no one like Goku, so he began his focus and concentration training. Jiren took his psychological training very seriously, doing things that really require a lot of mental effort to accomplish. To begin with, at night, Jiren would look at the starry sky, focusing his gaze on just one star until all the others disappeared from his vision. This always helped him warm up for his focus training. His diet, which was quite regimented and limited to things that would help with his mental development, also contained some substances that helped him focus. So to improve his training, he also reformulated and improved his diet. Jiren showed incredible dedication to becoming stronger, even in circumstances he had never faced before. It was transforming him into a formidable warrior. After warming up, he really started his concentration and focus training. Jiren had the habit of studying himself to develop techniques in his emotional training and applied them masterfully during his training. 
that is, knowing his own problems and points weaknesses, enhance them and learn to hide them from your opponent. After finishing the daily training session, he rests, as he understands that the mind has its own limits and also gets tired and now it would not be effective to continue training. But after rest and a meal, he decides to start his new training method that he had developed taking into account his own fighter profile. Focusing on improving his physique with basic weight training, he forced his Kai to add weight to himself. Jiren used this technique in all his exercises, in his push-ups, in his squats, in his sit-ups, and in some others. His key control was absurd, and he quickly noticed he was getting somewhere. It was good, but not enough. His thirst for power was really great, and even though that training was very efficient, it wasn't enough. In order not to end his session before the end, something he hated doing, he continued training and remained dedicated even though he was not satisfied with the training. Reaching the end of the training, he went to sleep as he also understood the importance of having a good night's sleep and decided that he would think about a reformulated training that would be more satisfactory in the coming days. At dawn, Jiren made his breakfast, aiming to maintain a diet that would help him with his training and focus it only on eating, without external thoughts to make the focus even more natural. After eating, he trains with a high-speed run in a very steep environment with several obstacles, taking advantage of the environment filled with steep and rocky mountains that were all covered by heavy vegetation. Just as he planned to do, he does this while increases your weight using Kai techniques. Jiren did this to burn calories he gained from breakfast and then went back to thinking about a new form of training that would be really heavy, suitable and efficient for him. It was at that moment that he remembered Topo, a strong warrior from his universe who would certainly be able to help in his training, both to get stronger and to see how strong he had already become. And that's what he did. He decided to go after Topo's advice and training to defeat Goku. He jumps as high as he can without the help of Kai, just with the strength of his legs and only then uses Ki to fly, to use more of his legs and keep them really more useful and effective. Jiren flies towards his ally Topo and goes as fast as he can to his planet, and when he gets close to the planet, he flies towards the ground at high speed. When he was close to reaching the ground, our protagonist stops using his Kai, tries to resist the impact of the fall with just the brute strength of his legs and body, and he actually succeeds without much difficulty. Topo sees Jiren as soon as he arrives and soon notices that something has changed in him. He feels and realizes that his friend is stronger, and his concentration seems to always be activated. Jiren soon goes to Topo and tells him everything that is happening, all the qualities that Goku surpasses him, and all the difficulties he was facing in order to reach his opponent's height. Topo is surprised, but understands the feeling felt by his companion. Sometime later, Topo then said, Don't worry, coming from you it's a very unusual request, but I agree to help you in fact this will give me more strength too topo said jiren replied in fact you are the only person i can trust to ask for this i guarantee you i won't regret it said jiren jiren and his friend go to an area where they can fight without causing great harm to anyone other than themselves and prepare for battle jiren focuses on the opponent and topo does the same only in a less refined way Topo advances at high speed to attack his opponent who remains in a defensive position, ready to dodge the blow and counterattack. At the last moment, Topo stops and jumps to the side, avoiding any attack from Jiren who remains concentrated. Topo finally attacks Jiren from the side with a jab and his opponent had no choice but to dodge, retreating a little away but without to escape. Jiren runs without using key to Topo, who thinks he is being underestimated. But on the contrary, this way Jiren preserves his key and uses it to push his own arm, giving much greater power to his punch that takes Topo to far away. Topo sees Jiren approaching and is met with a flying attack using both of his legs, which he managed to dodge. After the dodge, Topo hits a hammer blow on Jiren, who is taken to the ground. Before taking another hit, the two are interrupted by that universe's own god of destruction known as Vermouth. Vermouth says, I never imagined I would see you training, Jiren. You surprised me a lot, but I didn't come here to talk about it. I see that your training is not very effective and I have a solution. Vermouth stated, leaving Jiren curious. Jiren asks, and what would that be like? Jiren asked doubtfully. Vermouth says, I think you are the perfect warrior to learn the technique known as Wild Instinct. Let's say it is a reddish ultra instinct that will make you very powerful if you know how to use it. Jiren thinks a lot about the matter, but it doesn't take him long to accept his God of Destruction's proposal. Jiren responds, I accept your proposal, Vermouth. Thank you for being willing to help me. I say the same to you, Topo. Jiren turns back to the God of Destruction and says, Teach me this technique that according to you will make me so powerful. In Universe 11, 
After Jiren accepts Vermouth's proposal to get stronger and stronger, Jiren ends up being taken to a planet that would be ideal for Jiren to get stronger in an absurd way, on a planet in Universe 11. After Jiren and Vermouth arrived on the planet, they both began to fly and contemplate the landscape that the planet offered, however. Vermouth began to become cautious and in an instant alerted Jiren. Vermouth said, Jiren, this planet is known for being an extremely effective place in terms of training, however, there is a reason for this and it is precisely because of the prehistoric creatures that live here, beings that appear not to be strong but in reality their forces are absurd. So be careful, Jiren said. Are you talking about these creatures that are flying and walking through this forest surrounded by magma? They are quite strange indeed. They are beings made of total lava. This training is going to be more interesting than I thought, said Jiren, who was looking forward to the training. After a brief conversation, they both land in the forest and soon after, Vermouth, who was anxious about Jiren's future results, begins to give an explanation about his training. Vermouth said, Jiren, now that we are finally here, I will explain to you how wild instinct works. This technique consists of greatly increasing your physical attributes, but it has an even more important detail. It can make the, the user who has mastered this technique has 100% accurate and critical attacks, attacks that are engraved on the opponent's body, causing a lot of pain even if the opponent has enormous resistance. Vermouth said, showing an excited smile. Jiren said, what? Is it really possible to always land attacks? I thought this would only be possible when you have rigorous training. I never imagined there would be a technique like this. I need to learn it. I have to strengthen myself, whatever the cost. Jiren spoke with animation. Vermouth said, in fact, I invented this technique myself. In fact, it wasn't long ago that I invented it. I was able to formulate this technique by taking the basis of Ultra Instinct, which is absolute defense. And having that as a basis, I was able to formulate the force that opposes absolute defense. I call it Wild Instinct. It is the force that opposes the defense of Ultra Instinct, Vermouth said, showing a confident smile. After both talked about the technique, Vermouth and Jiren continued walking through the forest, always being aware of the beings that lived in that place, and now the focus of the training would be the fight against these brutal creatures that dominated that jungle. Jiren and Vermouth continued walking until they came across a brutal, ferocious reptile with a carapace made of lava and magma that suddenly attacked them. However, both dodged it with extreme ease. Jiren said, Vermouth, leave it to me. Apparently this animal is determined to kill us, but his mistake was trying to do something like that. Disappear. Jiren said, going towards the reptile and attacking it with several blows. Vermouth said, ha 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 ha. Jiren, you fool. Apparently you haven't figured it out yet, have you? When I said these creatures were strong, I wasn't kidding you. My comment really was serious. These creatures stand out for being weak in physical strength, but they are rewarded with a practically impenetrable defense. The lava and magma that surrounds these creatures can defend them from any type of attack. These creatures have extremely crazy genetics. Vermouth spoke, seeing the creatures intact without suffering any damage from Jiren's attacks. Jiren said, I understand Vermouth, but how can I put the wild instinct into practice? If I can't learn it soon, then I will never be able to defeat these creatures. I need to learn urgently, said Jiren, desperate to learn the new technique. Vermouth said, okay, now I see a lot of determination in you. Well, first, let's go to a waterfall that is five kilometers from here. When we get there, you will be able to understand the basis of your training said Vermouth, who was heading towards the waterfall. Vermouth and Jiren quickly arrive at a waterfall, and when they arrive, Jiren soon realizes how crazy that place was, because what he was seeing in front of him was a waterfall made up of the lava that those beasts had in their bodies. Jiren said, this, this is the lava that those animals have? Vermouth, I'm not doubting your training method, but what exactly will it help me with? I don't see a single method of getting stronger just by sitting in a waterfall. Vermouth said, ha 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 ha, you really don't understand, do you? Now, I want you to head under that waterfall. Resist the extreme magma of the waterfall. When you do this, you will understand what you should do. Don't question, just go. Jiren, who had no choice, soon headed towards the waterfall and sat down, being in the center where the magma fell. 
He could feel the immense heat that that waterfall possessed, and although he was an extremely trained warrior against situations of extreme heat, the heat he felt was different from usual. Jiren in his thoughts said, How strange, I don't feel any kind of pain or anything like that, but it's extremely hot around me, much more than it should be. Uh, this is very strange, I can't understand the point of this dam. This training turned out to be more complicated and difficult than I expected. Then Jiren began to enter his state of meditation, and as time passed, Jiren could feel the heat filling his body. It was as if all that warm environment was merging with him. From this point on, Jiren begins to feel unbearable pain, to the point where all his muscles swell in a surreal way. Vermouth said, Jiren, what is that? What is happening? Come on, tell me, what went wrong? Vermouth spoke, being extremely worried. Jiren said, no, it's nothing, Vermouth. It was just an oversight, but I can handle it myself. I won't give up until I can complete this stage of training spoke Jiren, who remained determined given the situation he found himself in. Jiren's act of wanting to merge with different genetics with his own through his K began to cause an energy disturbance throughout his body because his organism did not recognize that genetics. Meanwhile, Jiren continued to resist the pain. Jiren thought, I have to find a way to solve this problem. The simple act of trying to control my Kai to try to alleviate this pain is already breaking me completely. I feel as if all this heat is tearing my insides. I need to do it something. It was at that moment that Jiren had an idea. So Jiren gave up his key completely, leaving his body and mind free. And after doing this, results began to appear for Jiren. His body merged more and more with that environment. He could feel his body molding itself to normality. And then he had finally completed his training. Vermouth said, yeah, you really are surprising Jiren. You finally did it, Splendid. Congratulations, your effort will take you to extremely high levels from now on. Even I didn't expect this unexpected result, but you managed to surprise me as always, Vermouth said, being proud of the progress Jiren had made. Vermouth said, Great, now you will have to face one of these creatures that remain in this forest. If you manage to eliminate them with a single attack in a critical way, it means that your training will be almost complete. Well, as you said, we can't waste time, so let's go. Jiren and Vermouth walked quietly through the forest with the intention of seeing other of those animals again, until finally they managed to find a huge forearm giant surrounded by magma and lava. Jiren said, well, now is my time. I need to check the results of my training right now. Here I come, get ready, said Jiren, who was positioned in his combat pose. The monster soon notices Jiren's presence and decides to attack him quickly, however, Jiren places his punch in the center of the monster's belly, and in a second, the monster ends up being completely obliterated without leaving any remains. Jiren could feel the results. It was truly possible to overcome an absolute defense, and he had proven it. Vermouth said, Great, congratulations. Your training has really paid off. Now there's only one thing left for you to be fully able to use the technique. Vermouth continued, Now the last step will be your resistance to Hakai. Now that you have an enormous force on your side, you may at least be able to resist it, but if by some chance you end up not resisting, you, you already know your destination, right? Vermouth spoke, showing a serious face to Jiren. Jiren said, Yes, I know what will happen, but I still want to test my powers if I can resist that. It means I'm ready to fight San Goku. You can send your attack, Vermouth. Vermouth then does his Hakai, the energy of destruction that travels throughout the environment, making all things disintegrate. At that same moment, Vermouth fires his attack strike at Jiren, who appears to be struggling to resist Hakai. Vermouth said, come on Jiren, resist this, weren't you the one who was going to defeat Son Goku? Resist, channel and focus all your anger into your willpower, make your emotions become strength, let go of everything that holds you back, come on, Vermouth said trying to boost Jiren's spirits. And then it finally happens. Jiren manages to obliterate the Hakai with his own strength. He was intact, fully recovered from his damage. Jiren was finally ready and determined enough to fight his fight with the Saiyan Son Goku. In Universe 7. On the other side of the multiverse, we can see Goku doing his morning training on the beach, accompanied by Beerus and Vegeta who were observing Goku's training and combat movements. Beerus was completely relaxed, lying on a beach chair enjoying the environment and the sun. Vegeta was the opposite. The Saiyan Prince was distressed and agitated. He was irritated because he didn't want to be there because that day he would have a special dinner between his family and he would probably be late with that idiotic training, according to him. But suddenly Goku felt a strange sensation. Looking closely at the sea, he noticed that the Wavis were rougher than normal. 
that obviously had a reason. Mysteriously then the sea opened scaring Barris and the Scions there who didn't understand what was happening. When observing the sea there, they noticed that there were two extremely powerful beings there. They were Jiren and Vermouth. Goku said, Jiren, I didn't imagine seeing him here. Goku said while Vermouth walked towards Lord Beerus who, like Vegeta, found everything suspicious. Beerus said, what are you doing here? Spoke the God of Destruction of the Seventh Universe, slightly enraged by the presence of Vermouth. Vermouth laughing said, I'm only here because of Jiren, my dear Beerus. Vermouth replied laughing, irritating Beerus even more. Jiren and Goku stared at each other, a tense atmosphere was established there. Goku awaited Jiren's response, slightly nervous because the presence of that warrior always made Goku excited. Goku asked, does that mean you're here to face me? I can see your fighting spirit in your eyes, Goku said, making Jiren give a slight smile. Jiren said, I missed your excitement Goku, don't worry, you are sure. I want a rematch against you, what do you say to this proposal? Jiren said, impressing Goku and Vegeta, who have very different reactions. Goku gets excited about it, while Vegeta gets even more irritated. Goku said, of course I accept your proposal, let's fight here and now, said Goku smiling and looking at Jiren. Goku accepts Jiren's proposal and goes after him at once, tearing up the beach sand in his path, both facing each other in an epic confrontation. The battlefield was permeated with energy. Goku assumed a battle stance, while his aura increased, his look was serious, Ultra Instinct was active. Jiren on the other hand, seems unshakable, his imposing aura radiating power. Jiren already knew that form and now intended to overcome it. The tense silence was broken by the roar of the wind ripped apart by each of their blows. Vegeta said, Damn Kakarot, always winning challenges and evolving your power, don't think I'll be left behind, when you least expect it, I'll surpass you said Vegeta, while carefully observing the battle. Vermouth said, Don't think that Goku is the peak of strength. Even if he surpasses him, there are stronger opponents, and I can say that Jiren is one of them. You haven't seen anything yet. Returning to battle, Goku launches himself towards Jiren with impressive speed. Their fists collided in a thunderous impact, creating shockwaves that echoed throughout Universe 7. Jiren surprisingly held his ground, but it was notable that the one who was standing out, even if just barely, was Goku. The fight was chaotic with several blows and explosions of energy. Goku and Jiren were like hurricanes of power colliding, creating a light show that captivated everyone watching. Both warriors demonstrated incredible techniques, testing each other to increasingly extreme limits. Goku, with his ability to adapt in the heat of battle, exploited every possible opening in Jiren's defense. His punches and kicks were faster than light, but Jiren responded with surprising dexterity, anticipating some attacks and counter-attacking Goku. But as the fight progressed, Jiren's blows became more ineffective. Little by little, Goku was winning. The intensity of the fight grew as the two raised their powers to their maximum. The ground trembled beneath his feet as he released waves of energy that swept across the landscape of that beach. Jiren thought, I need to concentrate. Even though he has an advantage in this form, the fight is not just about strikes, but also strategies and intelligence, and that's what I'm going to take advantage of. Said Jiren while remaining on the defensive, Beerus said, I see that these two are very strong. They could definitely be gods of destruction, but they are still far from the true power of one. Who knows, maybe one day they might become stronger than us, don't you think? Vermouth? Vermouth. Unfortunately, I must agree with you, but I think you're wrong, Beerus. The one who will reach a new level will not be Goku, but... Jiren, Vermouth said, as he crossed his arms and watched the fight. The two warriors were completely immersed in the fight. Every movement was calculated, every attack was precise. Goku said, don't think it's going to be that easy. I'm not going to let you simply adapt to a balanced fighting style. From now on, I'll be going without worrying about defending. Don't disappoint me, Jiren, Goku said as he laughed and advanced on Jiren. Jiren seriously waits for the first blow, when he least notices the punch is already in his face, giving him an impact that would make him fly dozens of meters over the sea. But Jiren gets up and goes towards Goku, trying to counterattack. Goku was too fast and strong to be hit. Jiren in defensive mode was falling further and further behind. Vermouth said, Come on Jiren, you're better than that! Beerus said, Weren't you the one saying that Jiren was closer to our powers? Beerus said while letting out a laugh with a teasing tone. Returning to the battlefield, Jiren in the blink of an eye would descend with everything to the bottom of the sea. Goku confused watched the sea. After losing sight of Jiren, 
Jiren appears from the waters with his fist hitting Goku's face. Jiren thought, I'm not going to miss this opportunity. I expected more from you, Goku. Apparently, this is the end, Jiren said while starting a series of blows. After about three seconds of throwing several punches and kicks at Goku, the last punch of this combo stopped close to Goku's face. Goku in turn was more serious now, looking at Jiren as if it were the last fight of his life. Goku said, Ka-me! said Goku, delivering the blow he intended to end the fight. Jiren is hit squarely and falls into the sea, knocked out by the amount of power Goku has. Beerus mocks Vermouth. Vegeta is furious to see his rival stronger than ever, while almost everyone thinks the fight is over. Vermouth still looks at the battlefield, trusting Jiren. Suddenly, the world shook. A vortex was created in the water as if there was a black hole inside. From the middle of this vortex, Jiren came out like a whirlwind, flying above and looking at Goku. Jiren finally decided to use what he learned. His eyes glowed crimson with a determination never seen before, and his aura expanded, surrounding him like a divine flame, and rays were released, as if demonstrating the fury of a warrior. Goku said, Come on, don't think this aura will scare me, said Goku excitedly. Jiren said, You will see my true power now. Meet the wild instinct, Jiren said, demonstrating his new power. In the seventh universe, after Jiren finally used his most innovative technique, the atmosphere between the two strongest warriors in their respective universes was beginning to grow more and more. It was possible to feel the planet shaking with the power of both warriors Jiren using his wild ultra instinct versus Goku and his ultra instinct. In the face of Goku and Jiren, they both decided to approach quickly and when they collided, a huge wave of energy collided. Goku continued to dodge Jiren's attacks with great difficulty, while Jiren seemed not to be landing any blows until now. And Goku was confused because Jiren didn't seem to be fighting back, but Goku still ignored this detail and continued with a big kick to Jiren's face who just stayed still guys before continuing this epic story i left your like to help the channel and of course if you can i also left a super thank you and help the channel financially and also subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any news now let's go back to the video jiren said hmm i see that's your limit right now that i'm stronger your technique doesn't seem as incredible to me as it did that time we faced each other in the tournament of power son goku jiren said opening a smile on his face and then grabbing the Saiyan's leg and throwing him away. Goku said, Wow, you really became absurdly strong, Jiren. I didn't expect you to become this strong. In that case, I will have to use everything I have so I can beat you. Come on, Jiren, come with everything, said Goku, who was heading towards Jiren with a challenging smile. Jiren was standing still, but it was possible to see a small smile on his face. And to continue the fight, Jiren also went towards Goku and both clashed their fists, which were accompanied by several extremely fast punches. But there was still one strange thing that Goku I was noticing. No matter how many times he hit Jiren, it seemed like Jiren didn't feel any kind of pain. Both were clashing repeatedly with various punches, kicks, and elbows until they separated at a certain not very long distance. Jiren said, Son Goku, what are you doing? I hope you're not fighting seriously, because if you are, I'll have to tell you that this fight is already over. Unfortunately, your Ultra Instinct that is so acclaimed by the Angels and Gods of Destruction cannot oppose my Wild Ultra. It's definitely an honor to be fighting you again, but I'm afraid our fight will soon end," said Jiren, who showed a look of arrogance. Goku smiling said, nothing like that. I haven't used my maximum power yet. Saiyans have a habit of adapting during the fight. Don't forget that. Come on, Jiren, don't hold back any longer. This battle will only become more fun when we use our powers to the fullest. Now, I will use all my power. Get ready, Jiren, said Goku, who raised his arms a little to increase his energy more and more. It was possible to feel Goku's power growing and increasing his capabilities more and more. The planet shook with such pressure coming from the Saiyan. And finally, the real fight would begin. Goku was going with everything he had. Jiren said, great, that's how I like it. Don't disappoint me, son Goku, may come. I'm waiting for you. Jiren spoke with animation. 
Goku teleported behind Jiren in an instant to punch him in the back. However, Jiren surprises him by grabbing his fist even though his back is turned. Jiren responds to Goku's attack by using his left leg to kick the Saiyan's knee who ends up feeling immense pain from the blow he received. Goku, even though he was a little injured, could still continue with his beloved fight and to continue it he grabbed Jiren's neck with both of his legs and tried to throw him underground. But in vain, Jiren managed to hold Goku back with a lot of force with the intention of throwing Goku himself to the ground. But Goku is faster and manages to use his teleportation to escape. Goku thought, damn my attacks and even my defense are not being effective against him. Isn't it possible that he really managed to find a way to face my ultra instinct? This new power of Jiren called Ultra Wildness is incredible. I'm feeling the excitement in my body increasing my desire to fight more and more. Jiren is definitely a formidable opponent, Goku said smiling at Jiren. Jiren, who didn't want to waste time, teleports to where Goku was and strikes him in the face. Goku ends up suffering the impact of the blow, but still manages to move away a little and then tries to throw a punch at Jiren, who is defended by him, but soon after, Goku releases a powerful blast of energy at Jiren to distract him. And with the immense smoke created, Goku took advantage of the chance and struck Jiren with both his legs, intending to gain momentum so that his attack would be more powerful. Jiren was smiling, because despite Goku being at a tremendous disadvantage, he still persisted in the fight by making strategies to win, which was something formidable and admirable on Jiren's part. From this, Jiren decides to go on the offensive and hits Goku heavily. Goku felt Jiren's blows getting stronger and stronger as Goku was punched. Goku felt his body was slowly falling apart, but still the Scion I couldn't give up. Goku uses his telekinesis to levitate Jiren to deliver a powerful Kamehameha, but his attempt is broken because Jiren feels absolutely nothing. Goku thought, what? How can you? I threw that Kamehameha with all my strength and it still had no effect? Damn, I don't want to admit it, but I'm at a disadvantage. If I continue like this, I won't be able to keep my Ultra Instinct activated and my body will collapse with fatigue and effort. I need to end this fight as quickly as possible. Goku thought, preparing 10 gigantic energy blasts in front of him. Jiren said, Son Goku, let's go. What are you waiting for? I will defeat you and then you will realize how far the distance between our powers is. Goku released his energy spheres at Jiren to distract him, and soon after Goku concentrated a large amount of energy in his punch to cause significant damage to Jiren, but it was all in vain. Jiren was there, completely still, and without any reaction to the attack. Jiren just contemplating the effort that Goku continued to make even though he was clearly inferior to Jiren. Goku was perplexed because nothing was working, his strategies, techniques, body combat, it was as if Jiren was definitely a warrior created to counter everything Goku knows in battle and that was how it was at that moment. Goku said, it seems like everything I try to do doesn't have any effect on you Jiren, no matter how much I try, nothing works. Seriously, I would never expect you to get this strong, you're a monster Jiren and that's why I'm going to keep fighting, Goku said excitedly, positioning himself in his combat pose and although he was very injured and was suffering from Jiren's previous attacks, he wanted to continue. Goku then decides to use his giant energy armor from his Ultra Instinct to try to cause more damage. However, his attempt is completely broken and annihilated by Jiren who throws powerful punches that make Goku's giant armor shatter and Goku is left panting on the ground. Goku said, I'm really in trouble, my strength is running out and I can no longer resist. No matter what I do, Jiren has become someone frighteningly strong. Even though he is panting, Goku tries his last attempt to defeat Jiren by creating a barrier around both of them. And soon after, Goku executes several blasts of energy within that barrier with the intention of ricocheting the attack and hitting Jiren. Goku uses his teleportation and takes Jiren in the center of the barrier so that he could receive his attack. Jiren receives the attack in full. And Goku, who was hopeful that something would happen, is surprised by the huge shock of reality on his face. Jiren again had not suffered any type of damage. This was the true power of the Wild Ultra. He was intact, unshakable, as if nothing could defeat him. Goku soon undoes the barrier as he realizes that his techniques would definitely have no effect. 
Jiren said, oh, so that was it. With the new form I acquired, I expected a longer battle, but apparently my power is something surreal even for you, Son Goku. Despite your countless attempts to defeat me in this battle, you deserve my respect because you developed your strategies to try to defeat me again, although they were all in vain. Well, this fight ends here. Jiren spoke with a tone of determination in his voice. Goku, despite being at his last strength, tries to perform his last resort, the Genkidama on a small scale using only the energy of the living beings that were around that place. Then after forming this small Genkidama, he uses only his left arm to perform this attack. Goku said, everyone lend me your energy. I need it, but I promise it won't be much. Please, it was possible to see sparks of energy coming towards him and joining his arm, and without further ado, Goku goes at full speed to deliver his last blow that manages to push Jiren away a little, but even so, Goku had only done a small scratch. And then Goku falls to the ground, completely defeated by the one he had once defeated. Jiren said, Finally this is over and it proves that I am the most powerful warrior. Thank you Goku for giving me an epic fight again. But there can only be one winner, and that is me said Jiren, looking at the whole situation, just withdrawing, being proud of his opponent's effort. So guys, here ends the story between Son Goku and Jiren. Did you like it? I hope so. Leave your opinion in the comments about what you thought of this video and what you thought of this rematch between Jiren and Goku. Did you like the ending? Anyway, don't forget to leave a like and of course, if you can leave a super thanks, it will be extremely epic. And also, if you are new, subscribe to the channel to help the channel and show YouTube the strength that this channel has. Activate the notification bell to always stay up to date with new videos and content on the channel. So that's it guys, until next time.